Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Jake. Welcome to a new After Effects tutorial. Uh, we're going to be learning a sweet looking transition right here. Just look, this right here. Uh, very easy. Just using the ripple under the distort category. It looks exactly like this. Should not take more than five minutes. So let's just jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do, you want to create a new composition with two clips. Um, overlaying about half a second. And uh, once you have that in there, uh, you will get something like this and uh, I just cut it off right here because he gets killed by this little sniper over here so once we do this and uh, if you're looking for these clips or whoever did them uh, they're from an editing contest the editing contest is still going on so if you want to uh, you know maybe go participate in that which I did I edited something yay uh, you can go check that out I'll put a link in the description for it uh, it's, pretty sweet. Okay, so back to the uh, tutorial. Two clips overlaid 30 seconds. Uh, then you want to go to layer, new, adjustment layer. Okay, then you just want to search in the effects and presets for ripple. You'll find it under the distort category. You just want to dra drag ripple into the adjustment layer. Uh, the first thing you want to do is change the radius up to 100. And then you can see it starts to become rippled and that's what we're looking for so you want to go to the start of the bottom clip there we go you want to set a keyframe for the wave speed the wave width and the wave height and before I forget let's just change the type of conversion to symmetric alright there we go now go to the end of your first clip uh, maybe one, one frame before the end alright and then you just want to change the wave speed from 1 to 3.5. You can change it to 4. 3.5 is just my personal preference. Alright, and then for the wave width, we actually want to go back to the first keyframe, change it from 20 to 40. That is the first keyframe. Then go back to the end of our uh, first clip, change it from 40 to around uh, 95. Alright, now for the wave height from 20, we want to change it to about 295 that is a very big difference okay now now we have this um, a lot of rippling going on so let's just head back to the first uh, to the start of our second clip on the first clip uh, you want to change you want to hit T on the first clip that will bring up the opacity you want to hit uh, keyframe on the start of the first of the start of the second clip but you want to be hitting it on the keyframe of the top so you want to uh, put the opacity up to 100 and you also want to hit a keyframe for the second clip and you actually just want to change that down to zero this is really just a simple fade on transition and then for the opacity of the first clip change it down to zero and then for the second clip change it up to 100 alright and then actually on the adjustment layer we want to change the opacity of these so once we have it right here, I'm just going to go maybe one frame ahead. We want to change the opacity of this from 100 to 0. So let's go back to our first frame. That will be at 4. There we go. We want to change that to 0 as well. And actually, we want to go one frame before that. And actually, excuse me, we want to change that to 100. Maybe go three frames before this. That was 2. So let's go 3 and then change it to 0. All right, now actually... Um, if we scroll through this, you can see there's some warping up here that I don't want in my montage if I'm making a montage. So I'm just going to drag on some black bars, uh, if you will. Maybe some color correction just from, uh, just throw a Modern Warfare 2 color correction on there. You know, make it look nice and nice. So there we go, we got our color correction on there. So if we scroll through this, uh, as he scopes in, it will start to fade on, then fade into the new clip, and then it just ends automatically just like that, and then you can carry on with whatever you're doing. And actually, if we wanted to get rid of these black lines over here, we can all we have to do is just make our clip a little bit bigger. There we go. Maybe not that big, but you get the idea. So guys, um, now we're still gonna we're still gonna get some warp but we actually may just need to change the adjustment layer that's what we needed to do I think not sure uh, you can just mess around with that it's really a uh, personal preference 
uh, trial and error, if you will. So, guys, hope you found this uh, tutorial useful. Hope uh, you, I will see you in some montages pretty soon. I like it. Hope you like it, guys. Peace out. Give me some feedback. Have a nice day.